I see this wreck happen in my nightmares over and over again. Jim Duplessy read a letter from a constituent seriously injured in a DUI crash. He was one of 94 lawmakers to vote for Senate Bill 85, which stiffens DUI penalties. We're going to hear arguments that this is too expensive to the person who was convicted of a bad choice. Well, let's think about the cost to the victims, both monetary and lifelong physical and even death. Penalties are reduced if offenders use a $100 per month interlock ignition device, which prevents a car from starting if alcohol is detected on a person's breath. The bill passed in the Senate increased driver's license suspensions from a minimum of 30 days to nine months or six months with the ignition interlock device. The House version only increases suspensions to six months or four months with the interlock ignition device. But for every bill that passed this session, many more languished. I think we have a lot of really good bills out there that would produce much needed revenue for things like the teacher's retirement system. It's a miss that Kentucky didn't enact a law to have sports gaming in Kentucky. Uh, that should be a no-brainer and an easy lift for us. Um, we should have passed medical marijuana this year. Lawmakers were able to provide relief to nonprofits caught up in a recent legal decision forced to pay taxes on fundraising. You know, it is possible that we will see bills that will have three or four bills tacked on to them, so we'll be watching for those things. You know, this is a non-budget year, it's a 30-day session. It was always meant to be clean up for things that, you know, just like you saw, we passed a tax cleanup bill last night. So it was always meant for those type of pieces of legislation. Uh, you know, the school safety bill went through and sets the stage, I hope, for next year in the budget to be funded fully. So, you know, some good things came out of the session. Also today, the House voted not to agree with some changes the Senate made to House Bill 358. That's a controversial bill that will allow universities and agencies like health departments to leave the state pension system. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.